Greetings in the name of Jesus. I just thought I would stop by and just in case anybody in the Pueblo, Colorado, Colorado Springs, Denver, Trinidad, Lahana, Canyon City locations would be interested. Dr. Michael Smith will be at Solid Rock Church of God in Christ in the morning at 11 a.m. I will be ministering there on finding your identity, which will be a powerful word of God. I believe I've heard from heaven, and I believe I got a word for the hour, not just for Solid Rock Church of God in Christ, but for the nation as a whole, the service we will attempt to do live Periscope so everybody can view it if you're in your local service. But we're going to, if you're in the immediate vicinity, I would love to have you uh, just come up to me at, after the service. Briefly say, Dr. Smith, we heard the announcement on Periscope and we had to come to see you in person, 635 East 9th Street. That's 635 East 9th Street in Pueblo, Colorado. 39 degrees right now at 8.30. It's cold, but uh, we will be uh, blessed. God bless you, Brother Reggie. My God, it's good to see you, my friend. Yes, sir, we are friends. My Lord, we're, we're more than friends, brother. We're family. And you can pick your friends, but you stuck with your relatives, brother. My Lord, there's a blessed man of God right there. Hallelujah. Pastors in that North Carolina region, you looking for somebody, set your church on fire. You got to give Pastor Reggie a call, man. Him Between him and his wife, they'll, they'll rip down the darkness and they'll, they'll set you place on fire. They're powerful people of God. Powerful, anointed vessels. Love them dearly. They're precious people. Precious, precious. One of these days, uh, First Lady Ruby and myself are going to drop in in North Carolina. And we're going to come see you. We're, we're coming to Henderson soon. So uh, I don't know how close you are to Henderson but we're going to be coming into the Henderson area soon and uh, love to see you, love to have lunch and dinner with you and fellowship and just enjoy God. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm excited, man. I'm truly excited. Put that number back on that screen again, uh, pastor. Let people, let the, let the nation see that number and let them call you. Tell them you want to get, get a hold of somebody, uh, this brother will. He'll rock your world with the word of God. Powerful man of God. Powerful. And, and I'm blessed to know him. Honored to know him. Humbled to know him. Powerful man of God indeed. But uh, if you're in the vicinity of Pueblo, Colorado tomorrow, I would definitely love to see you. And uh, we're going to be talking on finding, knowing, understanding your identity. And uh, we're going to have a time at the Solid Rock Church of God in Christ tomorrow at 11 a.m. Colorado Mountain Time. And uh, we're just going to shout, praise God, and I'm going to put some word. I'm going to impregnate into your womb some word. Hallelujah. That you know, when you dance, dancing is good. Don't get me wrong. I love to dance like the next person. I love to shout like the next person, but I want to land on something solid. And that's the word of God. The Bible said the grass fades and the tree withers, but the word, the word will stand forever. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will stand. And I be, I'm sorry, Dr. Smith is a word man. Uh, I, I live and die by the word of God. You know, these people, preachers that hoop and holler, scream and, and have an emotion but no word I, I stay away from them man I want some word in this last day and age 
I'm telling you, America's going to need word. America's going to need some word. The shout's not going to cut it. You know, these these uh, prophecy junker, junk, junkies that run around from revival to revival wanting somebody to slap them on the forehead and prophesy to them. Uh-uh. Bible said prophecies are going to fail. Tongues even are going to fail. But the word, the love of God, charity, the character, the nature of God will never fail. It will stand forever. Amen. And I'll tell you, you want real word, go to the word of God. Study 2 Timothy 2.15. My mama used to write it in every Bible she gave me. It says, study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman not under denomination, not unto religious theories, but unto God. He said, study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman needeth not to be ashamed, but rightly, correctly dis discerning the word. And I'm going to tell you what, when we can do that, Oh boy, we will be blessed. And America needs to understand the word of God. America, you know, my Lord, you get me started and we'll be going for another hour. I've already been on here multiple times today. And, and uh, But I tell you, we need to understand the word of God. Though We need to get a hold. Uh, Pastor Reggie, did, did mother listen to uh, wait? Lord, wait. Pastor Shave, uh, God bless you. Thank you for joining me. I'm blessed. Man, all these men and women of God just makes me so happy and excited. I'm humbled. I'm humbled because I, uh, such a, a powerful entourage of, of men and women that are anointed of God, blessed of God. And I'm thrilled to be part of such a great group of people. Hallelujah. Uh, this is the day, I'm telling you. I love that. I wrote the book titled, This is the Day, Psalms 118.24. Hallelujah. My publisher got tickled at me. He, She said, Dr. Smith, you're the only pastor I know that, oh my Lord, that's, the, you talk about a compliment. I, I, Man, you have complimented me beyond, brother. I am, I'm, I'm blessed. I, I love Pastor Rod Parsley, powerful man of God. Hallelujah. And, uh, I love the Lord. But my publisher tells me, she said, Dr. Smith, I've never seen anybody write almost a full chapter on the word is. And she said, you're quite the, the individual. And I said, well, I owe it all to God. Uh, God just, you know, puts things, drops things into my spirit. And uh, I enjoy the word. I truly enjoy the word of God. I, I, I just, you know, people live with so many things, but I, I do enjoy the word of God. I was just on a little bit ago and I titled it, uh, Go Call Your Husband where God dealt with the Samaritan woman at the well. And, and Jesus told her, he said, uh, go call your husband. And she said, I have no husband. And the Lord said, thou hast well said, thou hast no husband. Thou hast had five. And the one you live with is not your husband. And I, I think that when we look at the word of God, we need to be realistic. We need to look at it in a relevant standpoint. And the Bible said, be not unequally yoked. I think it goes far beyond just being, uh, yes, I am. Uh, it's under Liberty Ministry or uh, Mike and Ruby Smith. Uh, if I will look you up also or get with Pastor Reggie. Uh, but, you know, to be unequally yoked together is, is as much a spiritual problem as it is a natural problem. Uh, you know, the Christian and the unbeliever, I believe you got problems. Amen. Uh, that's not a good, that's not a wise choice, but too many times spiritually we get unequally yoked. We get tried to live for God, have a relationship with God, and we become married to, uh, things that have bound us theories and traditions and rituals and isms and schisms of, of man's ideas of what God wants and, and manipulated by the, by, by theories of religion and organizational thoughts 
and and we become unequally, and that's where the Samaritan woman she was she was unequally yoked, and God had to break uh, the bounds. Uh, you know, I, I I got I get tickled at people. I was in Tyler, Texas, in a in a conference preaching the night services and. Uh, I was sitting at a little restaurant in Tyler, Texas, and the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me, and he asked me, he said, uh, when was the, and now I, I don't promote divorce, I want to make that perfectly clear, but I want, I think people need to understand the perspective of the Word of God, and God asked me, he said, when was divorce the first divorce ever listed. And I'm like, well, I, you know, I'm really not sure. Uh, uh, I have to check the, the legal documents. And I begin to uh, talk to God. He's daddy. And I asked God, I said, well, what, what are you getting to? And he took me to the scripture and I begin to study. And what Jesus said upon the cross, Father, forgive them. And he, uh, he took sin upon his body. If you study that out, it literally means he divorced the nature of sin. So the first legal divorce or legal separation ever to be brought out in the word of God. Uh, God bless you. Okay, pastor, we love you. Be blessed. Have a good night. But the first legal divorce was uh, when Jesus separated the man from the sin. He divorced it, means he abolished it, the relationship between man and the law. Love you too, brother. Between man and sin, the Adamic nature. The Bible said, as in Adam, all die. Come on now. As in Adam, all die. Even so in Christ, God divorced us from the Adamic nature of the law and brought us into the second Adam nature of Christ, not the, the Adamic nature of Adam, but the, not the first Adam, a living soul, but the second Adam, a quickening spirit. The Bible said in Paul's writings, if, oh boy, that's a big word, if that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead, if it dwells, now, now, now the word dwells means to occupy, to abide, to marry. If it dwells in you, think about that. Now think about, it. if it dwells in you, if it takes everything inside you and wraps it up, come on. Oh my God. If it dwells in you, it shall also quicken. In other words, it's already been proven. It's tested and proven. Come on now. Most of these denominations and these theories and these traditions that man has creeped up have never been proven. Come on. You ain't hearing a word I'm saying. He said, if it dwells in you, it shall also quicken. America needs to get that quickening spirit inside of us. America needs to get that anointed spirit inside of us and we'll be revived my friend pastor 510 god bless you good to have you my lord we're in colorado it's cold but we're excited jesus i just come on just briefly tonight to let people know in the vicinity dr smith will be in person at Solid Rock Church of God in Christ in the morning at 11 a.m. right here in the beautiful city of Pueblo, Colorado, 120 miles south of Denver. Hallelujah. Be preaching on finding our identity. Hallelujah. We're going to have church. I promise you. And if you're in the area, I would love to see you. I'd love to shake your hand. Love to be in fellowship with you. I, I'm blessed. I'm truly blessed, truly, truly blessed. My God, more than you know, hallelujah, God has enriched me. You know, I, I count myself humbled. Uh, I, I don't know very much. I'm a very simple man, but I love God with everything in my heart. And my passion, the mandate of the Holy Ghost is upon my life to, to teach God's people Take them to a higher level. Take them to a higher plateau. Hallelujah. So we're able to stand in the last day. I, I'm going to plan in the very near future to come on Periscope either 
every night at a certain time or at least two to three times a week at a certain time. And I want to do a teaching, an in-depth teaching on the armor of God. I think it's funny that, you know, we, we get a lot of preachers telling people to do things, but no instruction. And have you ever thought about how do you wear something you can't see, you can't feel, you can't touch? <laughs> you know, but people tell you, put on the armor of God. Do I dress the body? Do I dress the soul? Or do I dress the spirit? Or do I dress all three? Think about it. Those things are so vitally important, you know, and, and people don't know, you know, what is the armor of God? What does it consist of? How do we get it? What, what, how do we know we have it on? And I want to do an in-depth teaching. I, when I pastored, I taught for a year and a half on the armor of God, a year and a half. And, uh, my people knew at the end of a year and a half, what the armor of God was. If you ran into them today, they could tell you what the armor of God is. Hallelujah. We no longer pastor. You know, I don't know. We're open. Uh, we do traveling right now, ministering conferences, revivals, seminars. We love to come and preach in your area. Uh, you can reach us at Liberty Ministry Warriors at Yahoo, or you can call me at 719 Two two four five. Again, that number is seven one nine nine six four two two four five. Just wanted to tell you, we love you. Jesus loves you, and remember, something good is going to happen to you.